Hello, welcome back to the channel, it's JPA here. Now in today's video I'm just going to round up any wee scraps of uh, news that's come out in the last week or so, discuss a little friendly that we had, and we'll discuss a, a few transfers as well. I'll just get straight into this video guys. So during the winter break we have went over to Dubai and done a, a training uh, training camp. We played a bounce game against Lokomotive Tashkent who are Uzbekistan's champions at the moment. Uh, I didn't realise that until after the game, I thought that they were a pretty poor side to be honest, so I wouldn't really like to see the team that got relegated from that league to be honest, uh, I thought they were pretty poor standard, but we had to go and play the game the right way and we did that, uh, Gerard played two teams, uh, he played uh, an 11 in the first half and a completely different 11 in the second half, uh, which gave a number of players good chances uh, to, to impress, some impressed, some didn't, and we'll talk about that a little bit later on. Uh, Jermaine Defoe opened the scoring, Ojo scored the second, it was only 2-0 at half time, came back out, Davis scored, Tavernier scored and Stewart got a double including a penalty. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail about the goals, uh, they're on Rangers TV if you want to see them. Because this is just a bounce game I'm not going to go into too much detail, I just wanted to kind of quickly mention it. Um, a number of players did well, we Patterson at left back, uh, right back sorry, I thought he had an absolute outstanding game in the first half where he was given 45 minutes to shine and played really really well, I was very impressed with him, hope to see him in the future to be honest, uh, a couple of people maybe didn't take their chance and this is what Gerard's quote is all about, I don't know if you've seen the quote or no, but he's basically said that it's funny in football, uh, some people grasp their chance and take their chance and others pe and other people didn't and that's kind of what happened here, uh, obviously I'm paraphrasing that, I'm not going to directly read the quote but that's basically what it's saying is that some people take their chances and some people don't and find themselves further away from from the, the starting lineup and I think that's what's happened here. Uh, I'm not exactly sure who he's talking about, I'd imagine probably Barker, possibly Do Doherty and probably Andy Firth. I think they've uh, covered ourselves in glory since they've been here at Rangers and maybe they've just not been given an opportunity but you've got to ask yourself what they're doing in training to get that opportunity. Uh, obviously the players in front of them are doing better than them and training slightly harder so they're obviously not getting their chance. Uh, it was obviously a good result for Rangers. Uh, the, the opposition weren't of the best and I'd probably expect a similar standard to what Stranraer will be at Ibrox on Friday night which obviously I'll, I'll do another video for and predict that f for Friday but I think it will be a similar game and hopefully we can see a couple of youngsters come in. I, Patterson I thought did really well. I'd like to see Barjonas come in Oh, I'm not sure if he's still on loan or not. I know he played a bounce game uh, for our under-20 side and scored the other day against Motherwell. Uh, and like, I'd really like to see players like Middleton try and stake a claim on the side. I don't know really what's happening with those, those types of players. Uh, I don't know whether they're going to be pushed out on loan again or, or given a chance this season. To, to be honest with, with how tight the league is, I don't think many players will be given, up, given opportunities, particularly in the league games, I don't think, possibly in the cup games, depending on how that goes, but I really kind of see us in the latter stages of the season bedding youngsters in when it's so close in the title race, to be honest. So, talk a couple of things of transfer news. Uh, Zach Rodden, our striker. Our young striker has moved to Patrick Thistle for an undisclosed fee. Uh, very interesting this one, I really thought he had a future at the club. Uh, but obviously he's not getting the game time that he needs. Uh, I'd have preferred a loan move if, move, if I'm honest. But uh, obviously he's been out on loan to certain clubs and he's not really made an impact when he's come back. So I understand why he's, he's being moved on. Uh, Patrick Thistle's a good move for him, they're a, they're a decent club and I'm sure we'll see them back in the Premiership soon. Uh, so good luck, luck to Zach Rodden, or Zach Attack as he's also known. Uh, the next one is Borna Barisic, uh, there's been rumours that he's uh, at Roma, are very interested in signing him and because of that Gerrard's uh, set to agree a new offer or offer him a new deal, new contract to stay at the club for longer which hopefully puts off Roma. Um, and if they obviously they want him still, they'd have to pay a lot of money for him. Uh, I really want Barisic to stay. I th obviously had my doubts about him at the beginning of the season, which I think everybody did. But I think you can see the quality that he's got. Uh, you're not going to be left back for Croatia, who were 
with World Cup finalists only a couple of years ago. If you're a bad player, he's obviously a really good player. Uh, reminds me a lot of uh, Sasa Papic, who had a quite a hard first year, but then came on a game in the second his second year and, and just never looked back from there. He was just an absolute solid left back for us, and I think Borna Barzic can be the same. And obviously, we've seen from the Celtic game his delivery is absolute top class, two assists, can of grumble with that. So I really hope we get this deal over the line. It might take a couple of weeks to get signed, but hopefully, he signs a new contract and we keep him at the club until further notice. Uh, the last thing is uh, Serge Atakai, who was a right winger for Rangers, uh, Finnish international, and um, he's moved to SJK, who are in the Finnish league. Uh, he was actually on loan to them for I remember six months or so, uh, playing ten, scoring one, and uh, his contract I think is up in next summer, so they've decided to take him on. And uh, I'm a bit excited about this one, to be honest. Along with Zach Ridden, I thought. I think I had a really bright future. I remember him seeing, uh, I don't know if you remember, we went on a, a tour of America this time two years ago. I played like a college team. I remember watching the full game of that and he absolutely, he was outstanding. I'm sure we played another couple of games and I thought he was really good. I thought he was going to break into the team then. Uh, since then he's not really made a, a major impact. He, I think he made one appearance for the Rangers first team against Motherwell and that was like two years ago. So. And lucky for him, he's, he just couldn't get in the team. Obviously, we've we've got a lot of wingers at the club already. Uh, we also had Candias at the time as well to, to keep him out. But I really hope he has a, a good future. Uh, obviously, you know, we'll keep in touch with him. Where he's obviously his links to Finland with uh, Glenn Kamara, obviously. So I'd imagine we'll, uh, the Rangers team will, will keep in touch with him. Uh, but good luck, luck to Serge Atakai, I really thought he had a, a bright future and hopefully he goes on to smash it for, for his new club. So that's the video pretty much over guys, I uh, just wanted to make a, a wee quick round up of stuff that's going on at the club. And uh, thank you very much for watching, as I always say if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button. And uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video, cheers guys.